Well, I've been on the old men riding badly on bikes. Trip down the Wandle today, that's my local river. A cup of tea. AKA last of the summer wine. And uh, I'm going to make up a, a, like a, a moorland scene. I like doing those. I like doing them in watercolour, but we'll see how we go by trying to abstract it and paint quite quickly. Uh, this is on the Fabriano 130 pound watercolours that didn't quite work, but I've got hundreds of them, so I shan't be running out of paper, paper for acrylics for a long time. Uh, it makes a great surface, you can either prime it with PVA glue, I've primed both sides. I've used a bit of burnt sienna in with, in with the PVA glue diluted slightly, diluted a bit. Uh, there it is, just poured some out on the, on the board and squeezed a bit of raw uh, burnt sienna from a tube. And I, but I, I did both sides, one, one side clear I think, and one side tinted. So the whole paper is, is sealed now, it's waterproof. It's, Got a very, very thin plastic coat over it, which is a PVA glue or acrylic. So uh, I can work away on that. It won't soak into the paper. Just, oh, yeah. Trying to get some red out. Look. Just squeeze some out. I've got another one of these ready to go. Use a lot of this uh, red. It's a great. It's a great colour for £1.50. Let's just give that lid a bit of a clean because it's still sticking now. It forms a plastic lump. And when it's really dry, it'll come off and leave the plastic completely clean. But great, great, great stuff. So well done Wilkinson's, Wilco, UK company, family business, of large supermarkets. But they, they're very good. They seem to be um, a real plus. Uh, we used to have Wool Woolworths, as you know, they they uh, they went out of business, sadly, some years ago. But Wilkinsons have come in, and they've got a bit upmarket, superb shops. So if you're lucky enough to have a Wilkinson, and you want to paint an acrylic, the only one I wouldn't recommend is the white. Treat yourself to a, a decent quality white gallery or something that you get a lot of for the cheapest price. That wasn't cheap, that was about £14 for a half a litre, but it's a great quality and it's got a good covering power. So, um, lemon yellow, uh, mid, mid, medium yellow, yellow ochre, orange, alizarin crimson, cadmium red, ultramarine, burnt sienna, Payne's grey, not Payne's grey, black and Viridian. I'm not going to use them all, but that, that is a good basic palette and, and uh, I will also add a bit of this, yellow, this uh, Galleria with Renewson green light. So I'll have a little bit of that. Now that's quite a big palette for me, but I'm not going to use them all. That's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven colours. Well, you should be able to do a landscape with, with, with four or five, but, but um, for the sake of speed, so I can get to a, a colour mix is quite easy. Someone asked me if I would demonstrate the colour mixing. Well, I, I can't really. I'd like to. If, if, if this was a professional setup, then there'd be a camera on the mix going between me and what I'm doing. But I can't do that. I've only got a little cam, cam, cam cord behind me. So it's the best I can do, I'm afraid, but I'm not a professional uh, painter. So I, I do the best I can. So let's, let's, put, a, let's put a landscape in. Um, we can have a bit of distance. Let's use a bit of black and white and a bit of blue. See what we come up with. I might have to uh, uh, just, well, I'll do spray the paint so that it lubricates a bit. Type. The black and black blue for the greys, the blue sky. And 
You can use your PVA glue to uh, to thin the paint. So let's just get some paint on there. Don't worry about uh, any finish to start with. Just get some paint on until you know the way you want to go. Just paint. Just put paint on. Change it. So a fairly high horizon. So let's get a bit of bit of distance in there. A bit of red. Mix in with that blue. Just to stand out against the against the back the background of the sky. So oh, there we are, we've got just had some shadow on the peaks. So let's just so that's a, that's a general background and we can put in uh, We can put some warmer colours into that. Let's let's have a bit of a, bit of a path going through. Going into the distance. Right, let's put in some greens into that mix. Some cool, cool greens. That's the lemon yellow mixed with the... I'll show you bits of the palette. Well, there's my, my grey mixed with the black, the blue, a bit of that red. And I'm adding some some white and some some of that lemon yellow to it, so that we can get some cool colours, acid colours on the on the back of this. Okay, so we've got some cool colours in there. I won't worry about the sky for the moment. I want some dark on that, so a bit of, bit of black, a bit of red. And... Crops, outcrops of rock. And then we put trees and stuff in there. Uh, right, the green. Okay, that, that's okay. I've just want to check my screen, see what we're doing. That's a bit, bit uh, I need some dark greeny stuff on there. Right, let's get some nice greens in. Spray. I'll mix the greens. Just cover the the background. A bit of yellow, bit of, bit of orange. Just to warm up some colours in this foreground. Right now we want some uh, some greens. Darker that. No, I'm just mixing it with the in that bit there. I don't want blacks. Yeah, not in this. No, 
Now we, we, you can indicate the shape of the ground by putting these trees in. I could have put that to path back, back in there. So You've got all these little outcrops of um, trees just going here, there and everywhere. Just trying to make a, a picture. This doesn't exist. This is just a, an abstract of, of, a, of a thought, of an idea. We're very fortunate in the UK that we've got some lovely well kept moors, moorland, Exmoor, Dartmoor, Bodmin. The Yorkshire moors. Very, very fortunate. And they're absolutely beautiful. I'm going to make that a bit smaller there. Let's make a bit of red in with this black and the green. What's the I'll clean this up in a minute. It's just a bit of a bit of a mess. But that's probably one a nice rich black green. Don't want any uh, detail other than just an indication of something there. Here we can come down off the page there. Oh, we're lucky with the weather. Along the Wandle, there's only a small river, 16 miles long. It goes to the Thames from Croydon to to uh, the Thames. Okay, so that's, that's okay, we're doing, doing okay there. And we want some lovely greens now. So we'll mix, use the same, same mixing spot on the palette and just add, and add to it. I'm gonna waste it. When that dries, I can drag over it, and we want some nice, nice, uh, some red notes, just to to add some interest. Let's go back with that uh, grey path. Right, okay, so we can, let's put something up here. Okay, coming on there. a bit of light. I haven't done anything on the sky yet. We'll uh, work that out when we get there. Now, red. A bit of red in there. Just 
Boom, they're not. Orange. So cool colours in the in the background, but here we just just want to get some something different in there. I know this the orange really sings online when you bought it. I watch it playback. Back into the green now. It's a nice green. This is our sort of background. Let's get some, we'll do some sky in a minute. Let's just go up here with, put some darks in there for outcrops, rocks. Hard work painting. Right, I need to put some detail. I'll do a bit of sky. Uh, here's another brush for the sky. Uh, so we'll black and white. darker shadowy just outlining those rocks out of so I'll, I'll detail those in a minute a common thing I probably I do it as well is make your clouds the same contour as the hills and it looks totally wrong A bit of red in for that. Why not? Okay, let's get some nice, very light grey now. In. Coming over that hill movement. Oops, a little bit of darker, red, blue, black. Just darken a bit at the top here. Right, 
Uh, well, that's a, that's a, a simple, very simple sky. So it couldn't be easier, could it? When that dries, I might add a little bit more. Let's just put a little bit of a warmish green on the top here now. Blue. Now we want some darks. Just some sort of uh, rocky stuff. And Take some of that red out, just a little bit overdone. It's a bit fuzzy that uh, brush. Oh, uh, once again, I forgot to zoom the seat. Well, I'll use I'll use this brush, this uh, little nylony, sabery.
just trying to give some undulations to this ground, but I want to leave out the detail. It's just a, a, a hint. Do I need any more brights in there? I like I like this. I just want to put some more black in there, black and yellow, and red, but no black. Some more bright greens. We've got some scope in here to do some disappearing trees. some uh, nice lights in here. Just show, show that path going up there. Uh, some cool bits in here. We're lucky we didn't get any rain this morning on our ride. Turned into a lovely, lovely day. Don't know how long though. that a bit with a couple of trees. Mm -hmm. uh, perspective is a little bit wrong. It's a sort of just a building on a hill, probably a bit, bit large.
plaza. Put them in the shed roof tomorrow. I don't think this is as good as I have done, but um, but it's a it's a painting. Just dragging some of that orange over the over this here just to warm it up a bit. Just rough it up a little bit, then we can put in some darks. Little figure in there, and more red in his jacket. Oh, maybe it's a bit big, a bit small. Let's make those trees a little bit bigger.
Uh, right. I'm not sure about that shape there, but I think I'll probably alter that. Just clean the brush first. Right, that's a bit better. Put some of that uh, green over that path. Right, okay, well that's, uh, I think that's a bit of a mess actually, but we'll have a look at it in with headphones, well, with headphones, with um, a mount and see, see, it might be that I'll work on it and change it into something else, stiffen up. There's a lot of paint on there now. Let's put, the, uh, put this mount on. Just, just hold that down the bottom there. But it doesn't look too bad, does it? That's a sort of a track down there. I know it's obvious, but oh, well, I think the man might be just a little bit, a bit big, but. Yeah, I reckon the, those bushes are just a little bit too too small for the, for the figure. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of leave it. You can let me know what you think. If you think that figure's too 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 big, I'll uh, change it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let's bring you round to have a good look at it. Right, let's go into the background. The sky, well, that's just the sky. I've tried to put some buildings in there, that barn it might be just a little bit too big. It's a scale. And uh, come around. So that's our figure there going along the road. Or the or the uh, scree. I'll come up to there and I'll go up to the top there. Uh, Oh, there we are. I'll, I'll leave you with that. It doesn't bear any resemblance to any any living person or thing. It's just a painting that's got a rather duller than I'd hoped. But then I'd use a lot of black in it. But not that that is, is anything wrong, because the blacks make beautiful greens. But maybe uh, I'll look at it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.